Welcome to technical drawing. So today we are going to revise geometrical construction. So this is strictly for ICSE students for revision. All of you know how to divide into two parts, right? Then how to divide line into five parts. So this is a Z method where we draw equal angles on both the sides and we divide into five parts. If I have to divide into seven parts, then I will take seven parts on both the sides, right? There is a shortcut method also with parallel line method that we can see this is very important so you should know how to do it by shortcut method then you should know how to draw any polygon inside a circle that is called general method pentagon inside a circle so first we'll see that so first you draw a circle divide into five parts then from b to a and a to b you draw arc like this and from point c you draw line passing through two so you'll get ap then you cut on all the sides right everywhere so you'll get five points and you join so you'll get pentagon remember this is a general method if i want to draw heptagon i will divide into seven parts if i want to draw octagon then i will divide into eight parts but every time i will pass through point two now there is one more general method when the side is given how will you draw any polygon right so in this we will see pentagon so first we will draw line ab then we'll bisect right we'll draw a semicircle then from b to a we will draw arc that will be point 6 then we'll bisect 4 and 6 you'll get point 5 then from 5 to a you draw a circle and you cut side 40 right so you'll get pentagon now in this also you can draw hexagon septagon octagon you take 5 to 6 you cut up you'll get heptagon 7 to 8 octagon that way you can draw n number of polygons See, it is advisable to see other pentagon method also, right? So pentagon by two circle method, 54 degree method. And over here, it's important. Point G is important. So you should pay attention to that. Then you should know across flat, hexagon across flat method and octagon across flat method, right? So this you should revise before going for the exam. You should know this by heart. What is the difference across flat and across corner? Hmm? Across corner is when, when you draw it inside a circle. Across flat is these two sums. Now they will give you perimeter and they will ask you to draw triangle or a rectangle or any quadrilateral. So in this kind of a sum, you have to divide into that many number of parts. Over here it is 3 is to 4 is to 6. So we'll divide into 13 parts. See that, right? You avoid using mathematical method. Just draw it geometrically. So you divide into 13 parts, then mark 3, 4, and 6, and you draw arc. Then after that, you should know how to draw continuous arc. See, in exam, they can give you 5 points, 6 points. You have to draw a continuous arc passing through these points, P, Q, R, S, T. So what you will do in this, first you will draw line curve passing through P, Q, R. You will bisect P, Q and you bisect QR. Wherever they meet O1, you can draw curve. Then R to S. So we'll bisect RS, right? And from previous point O1 to R, O1 to R and we'll extend, we'll get O2. And from O2 to R, we can draw curve. Again, we'll bisect ST, right? And from O2 to S, extend the line wherever it will cut, that is O3. And from there, we can draw curve. Then you should know how to draw an arc length. How you convert arc into a length, right? We have to find the length of an arc by geometrical construction. So first you should draw the given arc, right? Then you bisect that arc. See, first you draw the given arc. Then you bisect the arc AB. See, it is given, right? Once you bisect, then you take that distance, half a distance, you cut on the left side of O, left side of A, right? Then from P to B, you draw arc, and from O to A, you join perpendicular. See, draw perpendicular, O to A, and draw perpendicular, so you'll get AC. Now, this is my favorite sum, how to find the circumference of a circle. I'm sure everyone know what is circumference of a circle. It is 2 pi r, right? 
but we have to do it geometrically. So you'll take A to B and you'll cut three times. Then from point O, we will draw 30 degree with vertical and we'll draw horizontal line. We'll get point E and then join E to point C. This will be circumference of a circle. Always cross check with 2 pi r. Now this kind of sum where you have to draw three circles inside a triangle touching one side and two sides. So what is the main difference? So in one side, you have to bisect an angle OAB. See, we have to draw a circle inside. So we are bisecting inside angle OAB. All of you got this? And when I'm doing two sides, that time, see this, when it is touching two sides from the midpoint, I'm taking 45 degree. So this difference you should know. See the idea behind this revision is like all these things you should know by heart. So then it will be easier for you. Okay, one side and two side difference you should know. Then triangle, square, pentagon, they can give you anything. But this is inside. All of you got this? Now we'll go for the next sum. Now see, same way, bisect OAB and here it is taking angle 45 degree. Matlab bisect OP, right? Now in this, draw a, now we have to draw outside, three circles outside a triangle. So first we will draw a triangle. We'll mark midpoint of all the sides and from O we'll draw a line A, O to B, extend O to C, extend and then bisect the external angle. See, when you bisect the external angle, you'll, you take point M, you'll get point M and you draw a circle. Then how will you draw another two circles? You take O to M and draw mid circle. Like you transfer the point N from Z and from N you draw respective circles. You need to do practice to get the accuracy. Now, how will you draw three circles inside a circle? So, see this, three circles I need to draw inside a circle. So 360 divided by 3 will be how much? 120 degree. 120 degree uh, divided by 2 will be 60. So you take 60 up and 60 down. Right? If it is 4, then you take uh, 360 divided by 4. It will be 90. 90 divided by 2, 45, 45. So here it is 60, 60. Draw a vertical line and bisect the angle. Right? So when you bisect, you'll get point R. Then take O to R and you transfer this, all the points. You'll get other two points. S and T and from T and S you can draw remaining two circles. Right? The same we can draw same we can do it with four circles, five circles. Now in this we have to draw three circles inside a hexagon, one side touching one side. So what we will do, we will mark midpoint of all the sides. We'll draw hexagon and we'll mark midpoint. Then join O to M and extend the line. O to N and extend the line. And you bisect this angle. See this. Wherever it will touch that will be point P, then P to this point and you draw a circle, O to P you take and draw mid circle, then again you draw the remaining two circles. So this is touching one side, remember this. Then if you see another one, two sides, so how will you draw two sides? So see, we'll divide this into three parts. We'll divide this hexagon into three parts. If you see, this, see this, A, B, O, F is one part, right? Then F, uh, F, B, C, D, O is second part and D, E, F, O is third part. Then we'll bisect angle or we will join the diagonal. We'll get this radius and we'll draw a circle. And same way we can transfer at other two places also. This is tangent. How will you draw a tangent when the point is outside? So first you take O to A and cut the same distance out outside and you bisect the line. O to P, O to A equals to A to P and you bisect OP. So then you'll get the tangent. When the point is outside, you bisect OA, right? And you will draw mid circle. See this. And wherever it is touching, that is point C. Then, then you join A to C. When it is DCT, for equal radius, you draw perpendicular and you draw straight line, you'll get straight forward. It is direct common tangent, external tangent, right? But when the radiuses are same, that time we are, we are doing this perpendicular method. When we have to draw TCT, TCT, transverse common tangent, internal tangent, right? So that time we'll divide line OP into four parts, right? 
and then F to O will draw semicircle down, then G to O, G to R, and will draw semicircle up. It is F, right? And will draw the tangent in this DCT direct common tangent. Now in this radiuses are different, unequal radius, 40 and 25. So first we will draw these two circles, then we'll draw mid circle. Then if you see, I have drawn one small circle. Where is this coming from? 40 minus 25, DCT, D stands for deduct. So we'll do minus and wherever it is touching with the mid circle, that is M and we'll draw A to P. See this and we'll draw parallel line. Got it? This is how you'll get DCT for unequal radiuses. Same way, TCT for unequal radiuses, we'll do the same thing. Transverse common tangent, it's called internal tangent also. 40 and 25 is given. So you draw the given radiuses, right? Bisect. Now T, T stands for total. So 40 plus 25, how much it would be? 65. So you draw radius 65. Wherever it will cut with the middle circle, that is M, join A to M, you'll get point P and you draw parallel line right any doubt in this and you should write your answer now in this we have to draw circle draw angle PQR right and uh, you have to draw radius uh, 55 mm touching PQ and QR so what we need to do first we draw the angle we'll draw 55 up and we'll bisect the angle you'll get point A then A to B you can draw circle now you have to draw one more circle which is inside if you see smaller radius right we have to draw inside this line and it has to touch the both the lines so we'll draw tangent at point s if you remember the first sum how to draw tangent so you draw tangent at point s and bisect this angle s c e then we'll get the required point all of you got this and we can draw same way bigger circle also outside you you can practice that now we'll see area conversion in this we have to convert rectangle into triangle how will you convert rectangle into triangle by double the height you can do by this way or this way or you take it in the middle all three are right fourth one you can do double the base also right and it is true in parallelogram also so you don't have to worry it's the same concept now there is one more concept how to convert hexagon into triangle so if you see hexagon is made up of six triangles so you can take height six times the same applies with the square to triangle square is made up of uh, four triangles so you can take height four times pentagon five times same way hexagon six times you take height six times now there is one more method how to convert pentagon into triangle first you draw pentagon then you join A to D and you draw a parallel line passing through E then A D E see this A D E is equal to A D P got it same on the other side, B, D, C, right? So instead of B, B, C, D, you got B, Q, D. Got it? And we have to write area of uh, triangle is so-and-so area of uh, pentagon. First answer, then question. Huh? You have to write in guideline. Then this is quadrilateral, right? So first we will draw quadrilateral. Now there are two ways to do it. You can do A, C. You, so first you draw diagonal, draw parallel line. Now instead of triangle A, C, D, you'll go for triangle A, C, P. Got it? Same way here, instead of triangle A, C, D, you'll go triangle A, C, P. Both, both, both are right. So you can choose whichever you like. Okay, you can do downward or upward. Then how to convert two triangle into one triangle? The basic thing in this is when, wherever you see the maximum side, that will come on the base, right? So in this 85 is maximum, that I will draw it on the base. And the other triangle I will draw side by side. So that means point C and P will be same. Maximum side again down, so 30 will be down. Then we'll convert this triangle PQR into PRS. See this, by drawing that parallel line method, after that, join AS, draw parallel line passing through point B, right? And from S, you extend the line. See this, RS, extend the line. Wherever it will cut, that is T. So your main triangle is A, T, R. Is a combination of both the triangle. All of you got this? After that, 
how we how will you convert rectangle into square first you draw a rectangle right whatever the uh, the sides are given so you draw a rectangle first then you bisect uh, first you take b to c and rotate see this b to c and rotate so you'll get ae then bisect ae you will get point o then take o to e and draw circle semicircle right and then you extend bc wherever it will cut that will be point f and that will be bf is the side of the square and you can draw required square then you have to write huh? area of so and so is area of so and so then how will you convert uh, see they have given a triangle ab 105 then they have given bc which is 80 so we can draw this triangle comfortably ac is also given so first we will draw triangle abc then they are saying they want another triangle par with base ars 70 so the area of par and abc is same so what we will do we will take ar is equal to 70 right then we'll join r to c and we'll draw parallel line passing through b right now what we will do now instead of triangle r b c we'll go for triangle r p c so this is how you'll convert triangle now you can go through all this exercise sum if you have my book this is from my book so you can go through all this exercise sum which are uh, which are good for practice and remember one thing if you want to if you want to score well in geometry you should practice this is very 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 important from the icc point of view you can get full marks provided you should do proper practice